we're discussing not one, not two, but three episodes of Deli Coast Nursery this week because we finally get a little bit of plot information. I'm just going to ignore the stuff about the kids because the only thing relevant is that Theodore, Dino's son, the silver-haired one, something has happened with him. I'm assuming he's developing his vampirism, but we're not going to get to that yet. That That is just kind of a speculation of mine because he's becoming a lot angrier and a lot more, you know, unstable. So I'm assuming his vampirism, his vampire powers are going in. But uh, other than that, we finally meet Pendulum. We finally meet the group who is responsible for, uh, I'm assuming, the murders, although it still is early, so they may not actually be responsible. They are looking for True Vamp, and yes, I'm still calling him Tramp, because I don't want my comments to devolve into political jokes. I like him as much as the next person, but that is not why we're here. That is the last time I'm going to bring it up. It is Tramp. It is going to be Tramp. And they are looking for Tramp because Tramp is someone who apparently holds the key to eternal life. And the only person who knows this, other than the person from episode 5 that we'll discuss in a minute, is Juris, the one of the members of Tramp, who I only know his name because he's voiced by Hikari Midorikawa and I like him a lot. Uh, there's also an effeminate man, I'm assuming it's an effeminate man, could be a trans woman, the show is not specified. I'm not sure, but I, I think it's an effeminate man. Um, so there's also an effeminate man. There's a little girl. There's someone with a cloth over their face who uh, is wants to stay in his cocoon phase. The cocoon phase is, I believe, part of the experiments Pendulum has been doing. But that's it. I don't know any of their names except for Juris, and I don't think we're going to learn their names. We might, I don't know. But uh, they attack Delico's nursery. Title drop. They attack Delico's nursery, and they are looking for someone named Umberto, because Umberto is someone who apparently also holds the key to finding Tramp. And here's where I learned something I mistook previously. The initiatives are different. Pendulum can force people to do what they say, but the initiative itself is something that Vlad, the organization Dolly works for, put on its employees to prevent them from divulging information about Tramp, which I think is really smart. Although, I don't understand why Pendulum thinks they can, you know, outmaneuver this thing. Uh, and Bertha kills himself anyway, just in case, because he doesn't want to find out, which, honestly, smart dude. But I don't think they would have been able to get anything from him anyway, so they basically just screwed themselves. And I like the fact that the girl, whose name, again, I don't know, keeps being like, why don't we just bite him? Why are we taking so long? And yeah, they basically screwed themselves into a corner by taking so long, and by the time they got to him, he murdered himself. So... <laughs> We, we still don't know anything other than that. We know who Pendulum is. We know who Tramp is. We know that Pendulum is forcing people to uh, do what they say. And we know that the people being killed are all from Vlad because their, their initiative is forcing them to kill themselves before giving up info. That is all we know. We have not done any other investigation. We have not found any other clues. We have not even looked into who Tramp actually is. And honestly, it's irritating me, because this is a murder mystery. We're supposed to get new revelations every single episode. And the only thing we know about uh, is stuff we already knew. We've taken up the entire series doing this chattering stuff. And it's good commentary, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it's bad. It's actually really good commentary on how men treat their children. But that should be secondary to the murder investigation, and it's not. It's the primary focus. And at one point, they wanted to use Johannes, the person who's in charge of Vlad, as bait, and there's this whole debate of who should we use as bait, you know, his son maybe. Like, I don't care. I want the murder investigation to pick up a little bit faster. It's a decent show. I don't hate it, but just... Get, get on with it. And now they're going to add in the thing with Theodore. And it's just, 
y'all are doing too much too early. This should be something that plays into the final conflict or something, I don't know. But we will, we will find out in the coming weeks how this plays out. 